This video will show me installing a scan gauge 2 into my first gen Colorado. This can actually be done to any 1996 and later vehicle with an ODD2 port. Here's the parts list. Scan gauge actually offers two different versions for ODB2 ports. I like the 2 since it fits better in the dash. Here are the full features of the scan gauge 2. See their website for more details and information. You can also get to their website from my website. Here are some of the X gauges available for the Colorado. Let us start the install. Raise the steering wheel. Pull out on top of the right side of the lower dash and then the bottom of the right side. Fish the ODB2 cable through the lower dash. Route the cable near the scan gauge 2 behind the gear selector grommet. You can put the steering wheel height back to where you like it. Line up the lower dash clip and push it in. Do the same with the upper dash clip. Plug the ODB2 connector into the Colorado's ODB2 port. After putting all the excess cabling above the lower dash, it will have to be secured with either tie wraps or zip ties. We have to put the mate of the Velcro strip on the top of the steering wheel column. Now the scan gauge 2. Note, if your scan gauge does not have the mate to the Velcro strip on the bottom of it, put it on now. Starting in Colorado to see the scan gauge 2 in action. Here we are cycling through some of the gauge functions that we can select for the upper right corner. We can do the same for the other three corner buttons. Here we are looking to see if there are any ODB2 codes. Now we are looking at some of the trip functions. X gauge details. This page talks about GM's two different ODB2 protocols and how to tell. The VPW protocol gauges and corresponding codes. The CAN SF protocol gauges and corresponding codes. Here we show the programming of the air to fuel ratio X gauge. First need to get into the X gauge edit menu. Choose an unused X gauge slot, i.e. no name. Programming a TXD code. Programming the RXF code. Programming the RXD code. Programming the MTH code. Giving the X gauge its name, AFR. Saving a new X gauge. Checking that the AFR gauge is working. And it is. I hope that you found this video helpful. 